guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well so today i'm going to be doing my february favorites video and i always do a february favorites video because february is my birthday month and i'm always so sad to see it go but uh february was amazing i have my birthday it was honestly a really really nice birthday I had a really really nice time I want to thank everybody who wished me happy birthday um, everybody all my friends and family just everyone who made my birthday so amazing whether you were here or you were not um, I just had a really amazing birthday and it's really nice to see years go by and I'm surrounded by just love and people who mean well and who are just all around good people so I'm very grateful for that so without further rambling let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start off with I don't really have skincare. Um, I'm using the same stuff. I didn't feel like it was conducive to share with you guys things that I've already shared with you a bunch of different times. If you want to know what I'm using in my skincare, I would link my skincare video. Um, I have a recent one. It's probably a few months old, maybe like four months old. It's pretty recent still. I will put in the eye cards here if you are interested to see what I'm using in my skincare. But um, I don't have anything new, so I'm not going to talk about skincare. But I am going to talk about a body care item. I am somebody who is naturally, I'm not the ashiest person in the world. But I'm pretty ashy. Like, my body gets ashy, like, really, really fast. Like, if I get out of the shower and I wait a minute too long, the ash just comes out of nowhere. So, I am someone who not only wears body lotion, but I wear body oils. I swear by body oils. I just feel like if you're somebody... I think everybody should wear body oils. But especially if you're somebody whose skin um, shows ash or shows, like shows ashiness i think body oil is a must i remember when i was in college i was using like the thick baby gel oil that one worked for a while but that was super sticky and it used to get everywhere so i've upgraded my oils throughout the years and recently i was in bath and body works um getting some candles as usual but i ran into their new oils um they usually have oils but they're usually meant for like massages and things like that but I found this oil, it's called Light As Air Body Oil. This one that I have is in the scent Electric Blue Sky. This is what it looks like. I didn't really, I'm gonna get this hair off of it, okay. I didn't really have any big expectations from this because it was pretty inexpensive. Okay, so not really. It's $18.50, but I think I got it when it was like 75% off, so it was super inexpensive. But I've gotta say, I am very, very 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 impressed by this oil i did not think it was going to be enough i think it was going to be one of those oils that i will have to put a ton of it on but i can honestly tell you guys if i took a shower at night and i put this on before i go to bed i wake up the next day and my body is still moisturized it's still shiny it's still juicy like i absolutely love this especially in the winter even though there's not too much of a winter here in southern california but i still feel like the air is very dry around here which makes me ashier faster this oil is the truth if you like body oils if you're somebody even if you're somebody who is not super ashy but you just like for your skin to feel nice and soft nice and glowy you're going to love this oil it comes in different scents um this is just the one that smelled good to me i'm probably going to go back and grab a few more especially if you're having another sale on this i'm definitely going to pick up a few more of that but i absolutely love this oil all right the next thing i'm going to be talking about is going to be a primer now this primer is a pretty popular primer here on youtube but every time somebody talked about it i would always roll my eyes <sighs> I'm not buying that. And that was always my responses. I'm not buying that. It, people talked about it and you know, for me it was just like, I have oily skin. I need a mattifying primer. I don't need anything else. But I stand corrected. So this is the Too Faced Hangover Primer and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like, where have you been, girl? <laughs> like I said again, I didn't really believe in it because every time that I would um, test it out and I was like, this feels like a lotion. Like, I don't see what the big deal is. I absolutely love this primer. Every time that I wear this, my makeup just looks absolutely beautiful. Um, my skin is hydrated without being oily. Now, I will say I can't use this by itself. I still have to combine with a mattifying primer and just apply that in my T-zones, but I really, really like this primer. I can definitely see why people love this primer. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is going to be this Clarisonic brush head that I've been trying. I got this from Octoly. They had it on there, and I was like, heck yes, I wanna try this because so many people have talked about how amazing this brush head is, so I definitely wanted to 
to try it. So it is basically, if for you guys who are familiar with the Clarisonic, the Clarisonic is just a cleansing tool that you use to, basically there's a brush that goes on here and you use that to clean your face. And I've used my Clarisonic for years and years and years and I swear by it. But when they came out with this brush right here, this is to apply like your foundation, your concealer, contour, like it does everything. I did film a first impression video on this a while back and that video should be on my channel already. I absolutely love this. It blends up my foundation so flawlessly. Um, I was skeptic when I got this and I was like, seriously, like this is not gonna work. The pulsating motion is too much. It's gonna make your foundation streaky. My foundation blended out like a dream in seconds. My concealer blended out like my contour like it just did an amazing job of blending everything out the only little qualm i have about this is the fact that it is a clarisonic if you only have one you'll have to take this out of your bathroom every day change the brush heads from the cleansing tool to the foundation tool put it on and then it's a lot of like work but i would say if you are going somewhere special and you want your foundation to look airbrushed Grab this, you are going to love it. All right, the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is going to be a new concealer. Again, that was in my uh, Try New Products video, and that is going to be the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, um, and I have mine in the color tan. This is what that looks like. This concealer has been around for a bunch of years. People on YouTube have raved and talked about it, but some of us that had a little bit more melanin in our skin could not try it because there was never shades deep enough for us so maybelline finally decided that oh okay we'll give them a few shades so we were able to now try it i can see why people love this concealer since i've bought it i cannot put it down i use this all the time it is light enough that i don't feel like i'm packing a ton of product underneath my eyes yet it's thick enough that i feel like it covers my dark circles um, and everything that I need to cover. It's just a really great concealer. I like the color. As a shade reference, I'm about an NC50 in MAC, and I have my color in tan, and this is a pretty great highlighting shade for me. It is what I use to highlight my face today. I just think it looks really good. I think it looks flawless. I really like it. I definitely see why people love it so much, and I'm definitely probably most likely going to repurchase this. Next is going to be a foundation. I have literally been using this foundation all month long. I cannot get enough of this foundation. I've already done a full video review on this, and I will link it in the iCards up here. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation, SPF 15. Uh, full cover, oil-free shine control. I'm not going to say too much about this because I have talked about it fully in that video if you want to know how this wears how this looks um, definitely check out that video I have mine in the color grand uh, grand almond golden almond I really like it go check out the video if you haven't already um, to hear my thoughts on it all right so we're gonna move on to eye products here really quick again this product was in my trying new products video so you guys probably already have already seen it but this is just gonna be an update to show you guys how much I really love this this is a brand that I found in a local store here near me. It's just a random store in my mall that's close to me. This brand is called Moira, and these are the Scandal Eyes, and this is what that looks like. Um, absolutely beautiful. These look just like the Touch and Soul Cream and Pigment Eyeshadows, which retail for, I believe, $24, $26, if I'm not mistaken. These retail for $16 each. These were a steal and a deal. So um, the first color that I have is... Uh, Mambo versus Samba, which is this one right here. It comes with a liquid side, which is this side. Um, and that's what that looks like. And then the pigment side, which is supposed to go on top of it, is right. That's the first one that I got. The second one that I got is, of course, a rose gold. My go-to's in anything is always rose gold and gold. Um, that This one is called Roomba versus Tango. And I'm going to swatch the cream side as always first it's just a beautiful rose gold that goes right over the top of it uh i don't know if i'm swatching that right but that's basically that right there so those are it i just want to show you guys i absolutely love this it's that make wearing pigment so much easier because you have the base of the cream and then you apply the pigment right on top it gives you a punch of color but you don't have to spend all the time you know applying a cream eyeshadow that you bought from here and then a pigment that you got from there 
it's together. So you just put them together and go about your day. The next pigment that I've been loving is by Tarte. Don't come for me. I got this way before Tarte start. You know what, Tarte has always been messing up, so let's just, let's not act like this whole foundation debacle that just happened is the first time Tarte has done something that me give them the side eye anyway. They still have some decent products, but I bought this way before that foundation thing even happened, but I never actually opened it. So I finally got around to opening it and I really, really like it. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Chrome Paint. This is their like loose press pigment. I really like it. This is what it looks like. It is what I am wearing on my eyes today. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like a gold color, but it's a very... I don't know how to explain it. It's a very uh, yellowy gold. I'm gonna swatch it right up here so you guys can see it. Very pretty yellow, yellow gold. Absolutely gorgeous on deeper skin tones. Absolutely beautiful. I wear this on my eyes all the time. Like I said again, it's what I have on my eyes today. I love this eyeshadow. Um, it's just a go-to for me and I love the fact that it is a pigment but it comes in a press form so it's a little bit less messy to use. Um, definitely going to take this with me when I travel on vacation. Summer approved, like you're going to see this on my eyes every day in the summertime so I absolutely love that color. Alright, so I have a couple more things to talk about and then we are done. The next thing is going to be the lashes that I'm wearing today. I am so in love with these lashes. Um... It is kind of hard for me to find lashes that look good on me. I can't wear every lash out there. Number one, I've got really giant eyes. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my eyes are really, really big, which is a trademark of Cameroonian girls, which I'm totally fine with. They have big, giant, beautiful eyes. Um, so it's hard for me to find lashes because they're usually too small, so I have to go with certain styles. And also, I can't wear the styles where the lashes go straight. I need something where the lashes really curve up, or it doesn't do anything for me and a lot of times um i have to wear specific ones like the Eyelure 126 you guys know those are my go-to's those were great for me but i was again randomly in that little store where i found those little pigment duos and i found coco lashes i'm sure you guys have heard of coco lashes a lot of people on youtube here talk about coco lashes but i'd never tried them before just because i didn't feel like ordering them but when I saw them at this little store, I picked it up. These are called Stella. Absolutely love them. Um, I also have been told that the ones that are Queen Bees are nice. Uh, I'm going to go back because I'm definitely going to purchase a few more Stellas. But I'm going to see if they have the Queen Bees. But I absolutely love these lashes. They're really pretty. They fit my eyes really well. They're wide enough for my eyes. They lift up and give like a really nice doll-like effect to the lashes. And I really like them. All right, the last thing I'm going to be talking about is, again, another... Uh, item that I talked about already on my channel, but I definitely wanted to add it in my favorites because I absolutely freaking love it And that is going to be my Gucci belt. I got this um, for my birthday. It was a birthday gift I've been wanting this for a long time It took me a little while to decide like the size and whatever that can be a little bit confusing I will leave a video up here if you guys want to know uh, the sizing to be honest. I know it's a super trendy popular belt um, But to me it was just something that I knew I wanted in my collection just because you can wear this so many ways And it dresses up so many things. I've been thinking about getting it. Uh, go ahead and get it I'm actually thinking about getting the the brown one follow me on Instagram or snapchat You've seen this quite a bit of times and you're gonna keep seeing it quite a bit of times. So that's that Alright guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you've been loving in the past month or in the month of February. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. Make sure you drink lots of water, mind your business, and I will see you guys in my next one.